my dearest Dwight, my priest, my provider, and my protector. I remember when I knew I loved you. You were laying prostrate before the Lord, worshiping, and there's nothing more beautiful than a man who loves God. Amen. I promise to respect you, honor you, and love you through all of life's adversities. I promise to rejoice with you when the Pittsburgh Steelers win <laughs> and comfort you when they lose. Yeah. I, promise, <laughs> I promise not to make you watch Masterpiece Theater. Thank you, Lord. As long as, <laughs> as, long as I don't have to watch Sanford and Son. <laughs> You make me laugh hysterically when no, else, no one else thinks your jokes are funny. And I love you just as you are. And just as much, I like you. I can't wait to experience with you all that life has to offer. We were destined to be. And remember, God promised, if he be for us, then who can be against us? I love you. My dearest Patricia, I met you in 2001, and you have stuck with me, been by my side through the good times, through the bad times, through the ups, and through the downs. You stuck with me even when my enemies attacked you, and I love you for that. You've been there for me through thick and through the thin, and I love you for that. In 2001, God told me to go back to my home church. I asked the Lord why. And the Lord told me, he said, Dwight, you missed the big picture because you were looking at the circumstances. And I thought one thing, but when I found out later on, the big picture was you. So I promise to love you as Christ loved the church. And how did he love the church? He died for it. So I will die for you, I will live for you, be here for you each and every day of your life. I love you. 